Hey guys, so today we're going to continue talking about the different properties of integers you're going to need to know. So the first thing you're going to need to know is the difference in even and odd. Um, hopefully you guys remember that, but just in case you don't, an even number is evenly divisible by 2 and an odd number is not. So even numbers 2, 4, 6, 8, etc, etc, odd, 3, 5, 7, etc, etc. Um, so one other thing you're going to need to know is how even and odd numbers um, multiply, or I should say if the product is going to be even or odd. So if you have 2 times 2, you're going to get 4, which is even. If you have 2 times 1, you're going to get 2, which is even. So then let's do a case where we have odd. So let's do 3 times 3, we're going to get 9, which is odd. So in this case, we had an even times an even, and that equaled an even. And then we had an even, I'm going to just abbreviate it with an e, even times odd, that equaled an even. And then we had an odd times an odd, and that equaled an odd. So the general rule here that you're going to want to remember is if there are one or more even numbers being multiplied, then the product is going to be even. So I will go ahead and circle that for you guys in blue so that way you remember to memorize that or to have that down. I know it's intuitive when you're just multiplying, but it's going to be, it's going to give you a lot of shortcuts when you're actually taking the exam. That's going to be really helpful. Um, and then the other thing we need to know is how they add and subtract. So if you have 2 plus 2, that gives you 4. If you have 2 plus 1, that gives you 3. And then if you have 1 plus 1, that gives you 2. So here we had an even plus an even, which equaled an even. Here we have an even plus an odd, which equaled an odd. And then here we had an odd plus an odd, which equaled an even. So these are slightly different, um, and this is another, um, another set that you're going to have to remember. You're going to want to know this for the exam. So let me go ahead and also box that. There we go. Okay, so now let's go ahead and talk about subtraction. So let's say you have 4 minus 2, that gives you 2. Um, if you have 3 minus 2, that gives you 1. And then if you have which one am I missing? Uh, oh, odd minus odd. 3 minus 1, that gives you 2. So here we had even minus even equals even. <coughs> Excuse me, even, oops, sorry, odd minus even equals odd. And then here we have odd minus odd equals even. So you're going to, let me box that really quickly. There we go. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. So now the important pattern that you want to catch or that you need to know for the GMAT is that if the signs are the same, the product is going to be the product or, um, I'm sorry, not the product. When you add or subtract, the result is going to be even. So here we have an even and an even added together or an even and an even subtracted it's going to give you an even. The same thing holds for odd numbers. So an odd plus an odd is an even, and an odd minus an odd is an even. So that's the important thing that you need to know specifically for the GMAT. It might be helpful to know the other thing, but most important, again, is just if they're both even or they're both odd, if they're added or subtracted, the answer is going to be even. So that's going to some of this video. Um, I will be creating um, probably a couple more parts. So please stay tuned. Um, thank you for watching. I'm a math tutor and my information will be in the description box below. Thanks guys.